Hey you all and welcome to my channel Click to Restore. My name is Joe and this is the first time that I am coming on my channel and doing this recording. Uh, so be, please be, bear with me. Uh, I will goof up but I look forward to your support and encouragement so that I can get it going. Uh, I am doing this recording at night because I really wanted to post this video and I'm just figuring out everything but I promise it, it will be a great content and something uh, you will love. So in this video I am going to show you how to get a restoration hardware kind of a finish and I will be showing you how to use wax and you know paint to get that amazing raw finish and this is my client's dresser that I'll be working on and transforming into a great Great, beautiful piece so I hope you enjoy the video and uh, let me know in the comments so this is the piece that I'll be working on today it's my client's dresser in the original stain finish so I first started removing the hardware you can see it is here and I just put it inside next is the sanding so I scuff sanded this piece with surf prep sanding sponge in the uh, 220 grit and that's what you need for a scuff sanding so that it does it doesn't damages the wood grain so once I sanded this whole piece this is how it looks like next is the cleaning part so I mostly use uh, wet wipes or plain simple water that I will spray over the piece and then clean it to wipe it down with a dry rag so once it's all clean you can see how it looks like I started to paint it in mud paint smoke it's a beautiful light gray color so here is my tip when you hand paint to make sure you dampen the bristles of the brush with some water as they moisten and become soft so they go on very smoothly onto your furniture. So this color smoke I'm trying for the first time I wanted to test the color and it looks amazing. So you can see the coverage, the consistency of this paint, it's absolutely amazing and that's when I decided that I will just go and do one coat of smoke on this piece and then I will um, just transform the look of this piece with the waxes and uh, uh, more uh, paint in different color. So once I finish the painting on the piece, I will go ahead and I will touch up the lip of the piece on the top, on the sides, just making sure I'm covering the entire dresser. And this is how the dresser looked like after one coat of paint. So now comes the waxing part. I'm using mud paint black wax and uh, I diluted it with a bit of white wax to neutralize it so the color is a bit different from the uh, black wax. So when you put on the wax directly on the paint, the paint absorbs it and it changes the color of the paint and that's what I'm trying to do here. So I didn't seal this piece, I applied the wax directly onto the painted surface and you can see the wax got absorbed by the paint and it changed the color. Once it's all on, you just take a clean rag and wipe off the wax and let it to dry. So you can see the difference between the wax drawers and the painted drawers. They look totally different. So once my whole piece was waxed, I went ahead with glazing and for that I'm using mud paint pebble and water which I mixed in the ratio of 2 is to 1. That is water is 2 parts and paint is 1 part and it gives a runny liquid solution like this. And I'm using a chip brush for that and that's what I highly recommend using a chip brush for your glazing. Take a tiny bit of paint, rub it over a paper towel so that you have just the perfect amount of paint sitting on the bristles and you tend to go dry brushing technique and just apply the paint in straight lines and then you can just take a rag and clean it off so it just gets absorbed in the paint now what i did is here i again took some paint and uh, created horizontal lines uh, earlier was vertical and now i just went with horizontal lines and uh, created kind of a cross hatch kind of a look to this piece but uh, i also went ahead and wiped it down and then did again and this is the look which i achieved and you can see you can see the gray the wax uh, and also the uh, cross hatch that i created <music> 
this will take about 24 hours to dry once it's dry you can go ahead and seal it i'm using a mud paint clear coat for that and i just did one coat of uh, the mud paints and brushed it on with the same brush which i used for my painting and uh, since I, the, the coverage, the consistency, the uh, grip of mud paint is amazing and so is their clear coat. So I just needed one of those because I had the wax which is again oil based and act as a sealant. So I put on the hardware and here it is. It looks absolutely gorgeous. My clients love the finish, the texturing. It's so unique and one of a kind of the furniture. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I made it easier for you to learn and get that amazing finish on the pieces that you work on. Uh, all the links are in the description if you'd like to order the products that I use. If you have any questions, uh, please feel welcome to ask me and I'll be happy to answer you. And you can follow me on Instagram where I post many short videos and the amazing pics there on my Facebook page. And I look forward to uh, just walk this uh, new journey with you all and with all of your support. So thank you so much and take care. See you around again next week, next Saturday at 10 p.m. Central.